From the silly to the sacred, we've got a little bit of everything for you on this week's show. First, a reminder that the free film series at the East Hills Library is the best movie deal in town. We continue our look at the work of Alfred Hitchcock this week with Jimmy Stewart as a man who knows too much about a political assassination. Classic films, remastered to their original quality, on the big screen, and in the company of fellow movie lovers. What more could you want? The cost is free, and it's all happening Tuesdays at 6.30 at the East Hills Library Theater. Okay, the biggest movie in America right now is also one of the best deals for family audiences. The Pacifier features superstar Vin Diesel as a covert operative who is assigned to a new mission deep undercover in a land known as suburbia. <coughs> Diesel tries a different twist on this fast and furious stereotype with this comedy that may have you asking, have I seen this before? Didn't Schwarzenegger do the same thing in Kindergarten Cop? or the countless other films that did the exact same thing? Well, that answer would be yes. It is a fish out of water story that simply just exists for one joke after another, usually involving diapers, or the changing of diapers, or the disposal of diapers. It's pretty much it. We're good. It's a one no joke that wears pretty quickly for anyone over the age of 12. It's a case where, if you've seen the movie trailer, you kind of know what to expect, only about 87 minutes longer. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. With the lack of kid-friendly films in theaters right now, even this movie with Vin Diesel's overacting is a pretty good thing, if only to give young audiences something to see at the movies. But officially, we're going to give it the generic garden variety two out of four stars. The Pacifier is now playing in theaters everywhere. New in select theaters is the reissue of Mel Gibson's Passion of the Christ. Even though it's already one of the biggest films of all time, and although it's already out in home video, Gibson has gone back this Easter season and has re-edited the film to make it a more family appeal, or maybe appeal to a wider audience. Gone are the extended scenes of torture and brutality that made national headlines a year ago. Nothing new has been added. Now, I haven't seen this latest family-friendly version of The Passion yet. Mel Gibson has not allowed press screenings prior to its release. I can tell you the original version, the rated R version, was so intense it made me squirm in my seat a few dozen times. But underneath all that gore was one of the best, and if you pardon the awkward pun, one of the most passionate films of 2004. If you were scared off by the rated R version last year, you may want to check out the Passion Recut. It's now rated PG-13 and playing in select theaters. Locations and showtimes for both these films you can find 24-7 at the front row icon at KQ2.com. Until next time, I'm Bob Schultz, and we'll save you a seat right here on the front row.